Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be taking a look at a wonderful smartwatch that I've actually recently found out to be one of the scientifically most accurate smartwatches under $150 and that's none other than the Huawei Watch Fit 2. And as for the winners from the latest giveaway from my last video, they are gonna be displayed here above and you just have to contact me on my Instagram, I will tell you how you can get these. Oh, and before I forget, I actually managed to, to get this keyboard for real and for the next giveaway. So you can like, comment and subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna be giving this away in my next video. And I can hear some of you saying already, but Val, well, this watch is actually one year old, more than one year old actually. It came out in 2022 in July, but hear me out guys, this smartwatch is amazing and I'm gonna prove it to you in this video. Let's go! Now this smartwatch comes in a pretty plain box, as you can see right here, there is the smartwatch and below it there is your charging cable as well as some user manuals which I didn't even bother to take out, so pretty simple, nothing fancy so far. Here is how this smartwatch stays on my wrist and before we continue with anything guys I would like to mention that if you have a big tattoo just like mine that covers all of your arm then I wouldn't advise to take this or any other smartwatch it's just not going to work out. Now I have a little bit of a, a empty spot there right on my wrist so this watch actually works for me. But as you can see here, the moment that I push the watch a little bit up, which happens often, the sensors immediately stop working. And that is valid for any smartwatch, no matter how cheap or expensive it is. It's just that these smartwatches, they detect the micro pulsations in your veins. And if there is some sort of an obstruction in your skin layer, like a tattoo, it just simply is not going to work. There are workarounds to this, but ultimately it's just not advisable to get one. Now with this out of the way, let's talk about the positive things of this smartwatch and I'm going to start with the build quality here. So as you can see it's fully made out of plastic and there are actually two holes uh, on the bottom of this watch. One is for the speaker and the other one is for the microphone. You can easily detach these two straps here just like that with a simple push and exchange them for something else. Uh, but personally I prefer the rubber ones because they're also great for when you go swimming or under the shower. So basically the only thing that you can't use this watch is for scuba diving according to Huawei's website. But anything else should be totally fine with this watch and as you can see here I'm testing it under the water. And there's also a pretty cool feature to drain any uh, remaining water after you're done with this. Now let's continue with this gorgeous 1.74 inches AMOLED screen which has a resolution of 336 by 480 pixels and a PPI of around 336. As you can see here there are tons of watch faces installed already but you can install more if you want because this watch also has 32GB of storage and you can download your songs there as well as store many other apps and these are all downloadable from the Huawei Health smartphone app which I'm going to be showing to you later on in this video. Now the one thing that I dislike the most about this is probably the always on display and not because it's bad, actually it's one of the best ones I've, I have ever seen but there is just something not quite right with the software. Now every watch face has its own always on display watch face which is separate and once your screen turns off it automatically turns on. But there is one huge problem with that and it's that you cannot turn that uh, always on display off. Like you cannot set a timer where, where it would turn itself off for example like after 5 minutes or 10 minutes or something like that. It would have been such a great feature but no you cannot turn it off and it will stay there until the battery drains which will of course happen quite faster if there is an always on display running at all times. And you might think that this is actually not such a big deal, but it actually halves your battery life. And you know what, I can't even be mad here, even though it halves your battery life, it actually makes it last 4 days instead of the actual 8 or 9 days that you can get on this smartwatch and that's absolutely mind blowing. Now the battery is 292 mAh and with that always on display off, you can definitely enjoy at least a week of using this smartwatch. So slap it on the charger for like 1 hour and 20 minutes more or less and you're gonna get like a full week of battery, it's just so amazing. There is the palm gesture that turns off your display when you don't need it on and also the turn to wake feature that uh, turns on the display. 
Now the watch runs on the Harmony OS 2.0 and the experience here is quite good you can scroll through everything super smoothly and while this is not using the one of the fastest cpus that i've ever seen on a smartwatch is definitely getting the job done and you probably wouldn't have any stuttering with it now we also have to talk about what this smartwatch lacks and I can say a few things about that. Now this watch comes in two variants, one is the WatchFit 2 Classic and the other one is WatchFit 2 Active. Now they're more or less the same price with such a slight difference but the Classic version actually offers NFC and the build quality also includes aluminium instead of only the plastic for the Active version. But those are two things that I actually don't really mind and I can live without them. And the second downside to this smartwatch will be its CPU, most likely because unlike the higher end watches like the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 or the Pixel Watch or the Apple Watch, this watch doesn't uh, really have such a fast CPU and that's a little bit of a downside. But I mean, if you don't care about speed so much and you just want those 90% of functionalities that most higher end watches have then you can't really go wrong with this one. Now here is a quick sound test so you know how this little tiny speaker sound like. Now this all sounds so good on paper, but how is it in real life? Well, I've actually been watching this YouTuber called The Quantified Scientist and all he does is test different smartwatches with uh, various professional equipment and he tested this watch and found it to be super accurate when it comes to your heart monitoring and also your uh, sleep monitoring as well as uh, other activities. So you know, I'm not a scientist myself, but uh, I can tell when someone has put a lot of work into testing these kinds of things. And he actually put this smartwatch right next to the Apple Watch Ultra as well as the Google Pixel Watch 2. So shout out to this guy, go check him out and let's continue with this video. Now I have activated the real life heart rate monitoring on this smartwatch and as far as I can see here it's pretty accurate because uh, when I'm not doing anything it uh, detects the normal heart rate of around 70 to 80 beats per minute and as soon as I'm starting to do some physical activity like the push-ups here it jumps up quite a lot. And lastly let's talk about the Huawei Health app which you have to definitely download when, once you get this watch. There are a lot of features in this app and there is complete health monitoring here from what you can see on this page. There is your blood oxygen levels, there is your steps, there is your uh, stress levels and once you scroll through all of these options here you will see that you can also edit uh, many things and you can set your own goals etc. And this is the most important uh, part of this app, so when you click on the watch and you can control every single setting inside of it, you can see your watch faces here, you can see plenty of other settings, and I want to mention that these watch faces are a ton, you can download literally hundreds and hundreds of smart watch faces. Now, most of them are paid, especially the good ones, the great ones, they're definitely paid. Uh, not too expensive in my opinion, but also not too cheap and it all really depends on how much you want to spend on these guys, kinds of things. Uh, of course you can also try out the paid ones for a little bit just to see how it's gonna look on your watch before you even download them and I think that's pretty amazing. But uh, the free section of the app is also good, like I can download tons of watch faces for free, so no complaints here. Now there are other features like the constant health monitoring and this one is pretty nice because it also doesn't drain too much of your battery compared to the always on display. So you should definitely turn this on, it can uh, warn you if your heart rate is too high so you can seek some medical help and stuff like that. Now there are some other settings like the quick replies, the changing of your measuring units and whatnot but they are not so important. I wanted to show you the app gallery. Now from here you can download some additional apps that might come in handy. I have downloaded some of them and I kind of like them, but it's personal preference. So there you have it guys, that's all from me for today and I hope that you like this smartwatch. I definitely do, I'm using it every single day and I'm super happy with it. Thank you so much for all of your support and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!